there is there are quite a few players in this uh in this business of lighting and uh, accessories for Harleys. Taking them off very soon. The outer ring. Okay, the final the final outcome is that we have one. One zero seven. No, nope, not it's answering. Unavailable. They should be. They. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another great, uh, hopefully great, install video upgrade to my 2020 electric glide standard. I haven't seen many bikes out there with this uh, with this upgrade, and uh, honestly, I don't know why. I think it really changes the look of the bike. The the, the bat wing fairing really, really looks different. I think it gives it some nice uh, finish functional as well with the signal light i'll show you uh it's called the fang led led headlight bezel it's got the running running light and the signal light i'm uh, gonna be installing it right now let me get the bikes out and start uh, the install <laughs> my brother once forged this uh knife for me when he was into his hobby was blade building whatever got this box <clears throat> from Ciro and uh, did I say it already I actually bought this I reached out to Ciro I reached out to them and like I was thinking I'm a big shot I have 5,000 subscribers they'll start sending me uh, things for free well, no, they actually gave me a small discount, which I'm uh, thankful. Thank you, Ciro, for that. But I had to buy my own uh, my own items. So this is uh, something that I found quite a while. I've been uh, uh, looking at it already. Two items over here. I'm going to be in, uh, installing today only this one. And this, truthfully, I've seen very few videos out there. I don't know why people... Uh, didn't uh, start to install these. This is amazing in my opinion. And I'm gonna give you uh, my honest uh, re uh, review and thoughts, pros and cons about this. It's since a lot of this of Harley is about aesthetics, always like to grab uh, some footage before and after. So this is what the bike looks like before. Fang LED headlight bezel fitment, white and amber. I got it in chrome, and that's uh, that's what it is. That's all you get in the box. Very simple, actually. And uh, we have over here color, nice uh, color instruction pamphlet. I'll read through it, and then I'll get back to you the actual bezel itself. The bezel itself uh, let me open it up okay, the bezel itself is plastic chrome plated uh, with the connectors over here I see for the uh, turn signals the mounting brackets and the splitters these are gonna be the Y splitters or spl pretty much a job uh, includes taking off the front fairing, opening up the turn signals, connecting a, a, a splitter to the cable over here and running it back into the fairing so it fits into the bezel. So let's start removing uh, the front. Start with the windshield. T27, T25, I don't remember, let's see. T27. Leave the middle one always on till the last, because uh, it, it's what holds the, the whole fairing in place. 
four bolts that go one, two, and on the other side. And on the other side as well. Freedom Shield windscreen off and put it aside. Ready to go. Put that back in for now. Now all these quick connectors Oh, this is my easy pass. Uh, this one is for the headlight. One. This one is for the uh, front fairing trim, lit trim. Actually, this one's also by a Ciro 3D that I got down by uh, Ocean City when it was at Ocean City. There you go. And it clicks out. There you go. Because that's what I'm going to be working on. The outer ring. Screw this off. And it's off. As easy as that. And again, the... The trucks, all the garbage collection, trucks and leaf collection always like to disturb my videos and give me some nice background noise. Anyway, take the bezel off. Now we're going to be running uh, the little brackets. I'll show you in a second. Okay, these brackets, these brackets uh, go pretty much here. I'll just figure out the orientation in a second. And that's what holds this bezel in place. See, unbelievable, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Now what we need to do is actually unscrew these four. One, two, three, and four. We do, we'll start with the right side. Slide this in and put the bolts back in and then on the other side. Two. careful when you put this in not to scratch the whole fairing there you go okay next next step will be uh, to install this rubber gasket around the perimeter around the rim of this light bulb or the headlight I'm currently not going to do it because I might be changing uh, my headlight so I'm gonna this is all pretty much going to be you know uh, weather sealing it and giving it a better fit I'm not going to do this right now again like I said I might be changing my headlight stay tuned for that Next step is running uh, the wires, the cables, through the bottom. Let me see how, where I can fit it in. Okay, right here, right underneath over here, not a problem. One on this side. And one on the other side, right through it. Placing these to... 
uh, pins into that grommet. grommet. Click in once, twice, that's it. Two clicks and it's in. And what secures it, it's, it's the bolt right here that we had and we took from before. We had, now as you can see, mine is rusty and I definitely need to get a new one. So for now, I'm just gonna use it till I pick one up. There you go. And it's nice in place. It's looking nice already. I say it's looking, it's looking very nice already. Now we need to deal with the electronics, uh, how to get the cables through. There are two options. Let me see if I can actually avoid taking the whole uh, side. Nah, let me just do it the way. Let me just wrench my way through the side uh, signal lights. Half inch uh, wrench. Unbolt these two decorative nuts and expose the signal light cable. So let's do that now. The kit, okay, the kit includes two splitters, one for each side. I think they're identical because they serve the same purpose. What it does, it, it uh, plugs into, into here and you get one side that will be uh, for the signal light and the other side is gonna be for the new signal light that's in the, that's in the fairing. So let's connect it. Okay, the final, the final outcome is that we have one plug connector coming out of the side. Then it goes to the other side. And you see, this is, this is the other side of that, that connector. And as you see, there's a split right over here. Split right over here. And this is what's gonna go uh, to our new signal light in the front uh, fairing. Now I do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay, now before I even close everything up, I'll connect the lights, make sure they work, and then I'm able to work on the front part. Okay guys, uh, while I'm connecting, uh, putting back the turn signals back into place, uh, take a look at the, some footage. I know you guys love it. Footage from my last flight. Uh, oh yeah, and if you noticed already, uh, I just have new merchandise, new item. Check out this beautiful hat. I have it on my website, www.holyshift.usa. Support the channel and pick up one of these i'll ship them immediately to you thank you for uh thank you so much for uh watching and thank you for those of you that actually purchased this already and my stickers take a look at my flight Right there, George Washington Bridge. Throg's Neck Bridge and the other one, I forgot what it is. There is uh, 
Narnia. Well, I'm all alone again. There's an aircraft 1,000 feet below us. You can't really see him down there. And uh, yeah, I'm all alone. It just actually called us. The controller just called us. I'm flying uh, out of uh, Newark uh, towards uh, Israel now. So, oh yeah, check these out, you know, down by, uh, on my uh, website. Now, why is this so special? I'm about to fly back home. Why is this airplane so special? It's named after the town, the city where I grew up. And my daughter, also my youngest daughter, is named after uh, this town, A Lot. That's where I grew up, A Lot. very soon. Hope you enjoyed that uh, nice little uh, footage that I got from my last flight. Uh, while you were uh, away, I closed uh, the turn signals. And now what we need to do is connect, connect these splitters to the fairing. So let's do that. And actually before I do that, uh, I wanna talk about uh, the two, you know, about the, this company, that send out uh, Ciro. Like I said, I actually paid. I paid for the lights. So I can uh, pretty much say whatever I want, uh, you know, good things or bad things about it. And up till now, I, I see the installation is pretty easy and not, not really too complicated. And I was thinking, you know, the, there, are two, there, is, there are quite a few players in this, uh, in this business of lighting and uh, accessories for Harleys, uh, we all know their names, and pretty much their uh, their products are very much uh, compatible, are the same. So it all comes to uh, I think pricing and the customer service, you know, and the the experience with the company. So I really want to check uh, check customer uh, service and support see how that works so what I'm gonna do now is gonna you know in real time just call the phone number and uh, give them a story as if I'm having some uh, trouble uh, installing it and see uh, how fast I get a you know a solution a, a reply a response let's let's see their customer support at this stage so let's uh, let's give it a try First of all, I can't really find, I can't f really find the phone number over here on the instructions. So I guess it's on the, on the box. You get the box. And I can't really find it on the box either. Yep, I can't find anywhere their uh, support, their support phone, for their support phone number. Okay, found it under uh, in, on their website under technical support. Contact us, technical support. I did find their number right here. So let's do that. Let's call them up. Now 1053 1030 107 is unavailable. 
It's actually 10.30 East, Eastern Time. Let me try again. Monday through Friday. It's Tuesday and it's 10.30 Eastern. That makes it 8.30 Central, maybe even 9.30 Central Time. Let me try again. One, zero, seven. No, nope, not answering. Unavailable. They should be. They should be on the lines already. Hard use three digit extension. You may dial it. Okay, now I call their main number. The not options. to technical support. For sales, press one. Sales. Tech support, press two. So this is their main the main office. Press zero. Nobody answering on tech. One, zero. Okay, direct seven. extension. So it's nobody's available. there at tech. Or choose one of the following three options. For sales, press one. Tech support, press two. I'm calling one. That's sales. You know that during this, uh, these times, people are uh, understaffed, so they keep sales first priority, always. Thank you. Hello, this is Faith. Can I help you? Hi. Good morning. Who is this? This is Faith. Hi, Faith. This is uh, Sam calling. I have a question in terms of uh, uh, for some tech tech support problem. I'm trying to do an install uh, with the Fang LED uh, headlight bezel, and I need I have a question. Anybody can help me now? Okay, just a moment. Yep, just a minute. I'll get you over to lamps. Just a moment. Lamps. Okay, because I was. This lamps. How can we help you? Who is this, please? This is lamps. Oh, lamps. Okay. Good morning, Sam speaking. Uh, I'm I'm doing an install. Uh, good morning. I'm doing an install. Uh, the Fang LED uh, headlight bezel, and I have a question. Can you help me out? I might be able to. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's simple. Uh, I got everything done. I put the Y splitter uh, into the side uh, side uh, signal light. And I'm not sure uh, what side, I don't even really, you know if it matters or not, what side I uh, pull, put back into the fairing, uh, the longer side or the, like the longer end, the longer piece or the shorter piece, does it, does it even matter? What, the, you're talking about the connector? The connector, yeah, I can, hooks. yes. Which, do you have the version with the turn signals or not turn signals? You know what? Never mind. I, I think it. I think it doesn't matter. I, I think it doesn't really matter because they both both work. Just a preference uh, whether I put one side or the other. Anyway, thank thank you for uh, for for the support. Thank you for the help. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Yep. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. I'm happy actually. With, <laughs> I'm happy with the outcome. Uh, okay. Let's continue the install. That's 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 very nice. Let me continue the install. Okay, after that uh, phone conversation with uh, Ciro, uh, now we're gonna connect the fairing back into place and see what it looks like. Make sure you connect the connectors to the right side. test it out before I uh <laughs> nice nice over here yeah it's lit very cool okay let's put the, the fairing back into place so that's it I've finished uh, installing the, the windshield all three bolts all four bolts of the fairing now, uh, let me clean up over here. And okay, cleaned up uh, the whole area. Now, let's take a look at the bike. How it looks like visually before and after. This is what I like. Uh, anyway, I'll shut up.
see what I like about it. Uh, truthfully, I like, I love the way uh, the Road Glide uh, fairing looks. I love the boxiness of it, you know, the straight lines. And with the Batwing, it's got more of a curved round shape. And this actually gives uh, some kind of a break, a breakout from uh, that round shape. So the whole light fixture looks pretty much boxy square and I, and I love that. I really love that look. And I think actually only, only Ciro does this, uh, this accent, this uh, decorative uh, part. Okay, let's try the uh, signal lights. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's very cool actually. That's very nice and it I don't that's very very nice very very nice and there's of course a running light running light option I'll show you in a second very cool this is the running light so it adds adds another two fangs on the side truthfully I don't think it adds that much of uh you know, much uh, improvement in the lighting. Maybe it does, but that's very cool. Anyway, okay, let's uh, let's sum it up. In terms of the aesthetics, I really, really like the new the new look. It adds that chrome, a, a, a little bit more chrome in the front. I really love the boxiness and the straight lines. I love the added uh, running light. Uh, lighting we all know that uh you know in on motorcycles you want to have uh, as many lights on as possible to be seen from far out now as for the product itself it's plastic chrome plated electronics uh cables y splitters and the brackets pretty simple so it was a pretty simple install i love the outcome i love you know the way it looks the way it functions install itself was was pretty easy what I don't like about it, um, I'm pretty much trying to think. Uh, oh yeah, I did the actually the the support when I was uh, trying to call uh, support, I couldn't find uh, the phone number. You know, it's a little thing. Couldn't find the phone number. Not on the item. Not on the product. I had to go to my phone to find that. So, hey Sierra, why don't you put uh, somewhere on the box your contact phone number or even on the instructions? I think that could help uh, out a little bit. But that's really something small. And as I was saying before, you know, uh, you know, the players out there today in this industry of uh, aftermarket accessories for the Harley, pretty much uh, most of them do, uh, you know, competitive uh, items, and it's it's uh, pretty much down to the price and the customer experience. I mean, buying and support. Uh, when I bought this, uh, I bought it online. The package shipped the next day. And I think I had it within two or three days. Actually, I was on my, on my trip when uh, my wife got the box. So shipping was extremely fast. And as you've seen and demonst demonstrated, I'm actually happy, happy it, it, the, that was the outcome. Support was really fast. I didn't, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't try to give them too many uh, hard, uh, I didn't try to give them too much of a hard time. I just wanted to see how fast they respond, how fast they answered the phone. And if there was somebody over there to help me out in, uh, just in case I needed. So guys, if you did like, I, I, I'm, I'm really uh, digging that uh, visually, that, that beautiful new accent around my headlight. If you like it as well, uh, head down to, in my description, there's a link to Ciro 3D and uh, grab yourself one. I really love that one. Also, uh, appreciate if I get a little love over there with a little thumbs up over here, you know, that really helps the channel. Thank you guys for all the support along this way. I really appreciate it. I'm Sandy and you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.